Right now, there is some number crunching going on at Cincinnati City Hall. For more than two hours today, the city's budget and finance committee went over the city's proposed budget. The full council must approve it by next Wednesday. Local 12's Christian Hauser is live there with what happened and also a controversial service that will be reopening. Hi, Christian. Hey, Megan and Kyle. The hearing ended just a little bit ago, but the proposed budget will move on to uh, to another meeting tomorrow. But there are several changes to it, including a redistribution of a scheduled increase to the police department. Now, for today's hearing, there was no public comment allowed. We actually only had one person show up who wanted to give comment, but he was told it was not allowed. Now, this was only discussion of motions related to the budget. And one of these big motions, that's some fireworks that somebody just threw at us. But, uh, or well, I should say close to us, but uh, just some firecrackers there. One of the big motions is was redirecting that increase to the police department to youth employment and eviction prevention. Now it will be paid for through attrition as well as delaying an incoming police recruiting class for about a month and a half. Committee Chair David Mann knows that protesters are looking for much more, but he says that the council will work on a real and impactful changes in the next year's budget. Well, I think that's what we all have to commit to do. Uh, look at ways in which our policing can be even better. Uh, look at things that maybe police officers uh, shouldn't be required to respond to. I mean, officers are uh, asked to respond to a lot of different things, a lot of different problems, and I think the average officer would prefer not have to get in the middle of a domestic uh, quarrel uh, or deal with somebody who's uh, got mental problems if there's an alternative. Obviously, the purpose of an officer is to provide uh, public safety for people who might be threatened by situation. Now, another item that passed today was a motion by Chris Seelbach to get the streetcar not only up and running again, but to have it carry riders and do it for free. That's right. It won't cost you anything to ride the streetcar when it reopens in mid-July. I wish we could be spending all of our time dealing with police reform and funding human services, but the reality is that we had a choice today. We could either spend almost $3 million in taxpayer money to run the streetcar for the next year with no people on it, uh, literally a waste of taxpayer money, or spend $1.5 million additional from a transit-only fund and fully operate the streetcar with people for free for the first time. The service will be back at 50% for July and August and then return to normal in September. Now, the motion passed today with six yes votes. Now, assuming that holds true tomorrow, it will pass and it will also be veto-proof. Live at City Hall, Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. Christian, thank you so much. There will be a housekeeping budget meeting tomorrow morning, and then the full council will take on the budget at its regularly scheduled afternoon meeting. We should note here, tomorrow is the last scheduled meeting before the budget must be approved.